Good evening. We started out with a very soggy picture this morning from IDOT showing what was happening in Effingham, but it only amounted to four one hundredths of an inch of rain as of 7 a.m. And it continued to rain, but Effingham only got two tenths of an inch of rain. And here in Charleston, one tenth of an inch of rain unofficially. No one else got anything measurable. And this, well, it was a result of Hurricane Francine, the remnants of said hurricane. Actually, you can see that it's kind of all whoppy jawed here on your photo, uh, on your uh, radar. And we see a band coming out of the east of all places. And uh, as the counterclockwise motion is going about here, you see the hurricane basically is just breaking up. It only passed through our area very quickly leaving behind a bit warmer weather actually. 84 today in Danville for the high, 80 degrees at Paris, almost 80 at Champaign and Terre Haute. As we continue looking ahead now, 64 degrees for the overnight low, the hurricane remnants may uh, be staggering through the area again and continuing with possible scattered mist, but I don't think we're going to see anything more than that. 64 for the overnight low. And here's what Futurecast is going to show you actually overnight. It, it looks like mist at the very best. No real precipitation, maybe not even any mist for tomorrow. Continued deterioration and uh, the sun will actually be coming out as it's starting to right now on the horizon. 86 for the high tomorrow as it warms up and we start out with a morning low of 65. Those will be our temperatures generally speaking over the weekend. In fact, let's take a look at comparatively 86 for the high on Saturday. Sunday it warms up back to about 90 degrees and then almost 90 on Monday. So it's warming up again. And why is that continuing to happen here in late September? Well, one reason is our days are still longer than our nights. In fact, our daylight right now averaging about 12 and a half hours. Your sunrise now it's coming up a little later in the morning after 630 and our sun sets will actually be before seven o'clock starting next week. That's one reason. Another reason is the dry ground. Any potential rainfall is basically disintegrating because it's so warm on the ground, comparatively speaking, and that's keeping our temperatures warm. And our drought monitor released last week, uh, yesterday, in fact, this week, shows that we have dry conditions, extremely dry over most of the viewing area. Now, moderate drought, that means official drought, that is happening in Crawford County where you have an official ban burn set in place by the sheriff, also in parts of Clark County and Jasper County, and it looks like it's only going to get worse because so far for the month, this was our first official rainfall in Charleston. Middle of the month, we've only got, at this point it seems, uh, one tenth of an inch of rainfall. Normally for the month, we wind up with about three inches of rain. So we've only got about one thirtieth uh, of what is normal for the full month. And then looking ahead to our seven day forecast, we have basically dry weather. We have a few clouds, but it doesn't look like we're going to get any measurable precipitation. And I've looked ahead for the next couple of weeks